together. Yes, they love it. They love so this it. is perfect then. Now I'm going to go back to Flat Earth because I want to hear about the motive. Until the 1500s, for thousands of years, humans believed the Earth was flat, right? Okay? And then Columbus. But it wasn't, it wasn't like dumb humans. When you look no, at the no, timeline no. of Flat Earth, on, that was the, the, the smartest people on the planet were going yes. back and forth of whether it was flat so what or what was... So what happened? So Columbus Copernicus... Sailed, per they thought Columbus was going to hit... They thought he was going to hit Asia. Bullshit. He hit America. No, no, no. That's history. Now, that doesn't prove that the Earth is round. I'm not sitting here saying that proves the Earth is round. But ever since then, history changed and people believed the Earth was round and science changed from that day forward. So for the next 500 years of human existence, which historically is, I don't know, what, 10% of, of historical records, 20% maybe, we believe that the Earth was round. So that would have to be, to this day, a government conspiracy to keep everyone in the dark that the Earth is flat, correct? Yes. What is the motive? <sighs> We're infinite speck of dust. They want us to think so. Small. Well, yes. If 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 we went up in the fifties, if when August Picard went up in the in the fifties and went up fifty thousand feet and he said, "Dude, we're on this fucking flat plane," and there's other shit on the other side of that ice wall that we call Antarctica, people would want to go there. So, to, well, have, pe to people on a boat, who knows? I don't know. No one knows. Great stuff. No, you're not. You know, you're not allowed to go in Antarctica. You know, it's a UN treaty since the 50s. Nobody's allowed to go into Antarctica. You, there's islands where you can go like, oh, I went to the South Pole. Yeah, you went, it's like you went to, off the coast. You didn't go uh, way into it. People go to Antarctica, oh, they saw uh, those fucking, those raptor seals or whatever the fuck they're called. They're not really going in. You know, there's a UN treaty and nobody, they have a UN brigade. They have soldiers. Nobody's allowed to go deep. So, but what deep. is the motive? Why would every government that's ever tried to experiment with space travel want to continue this theory? Because this is just a theory of mine. No one even knows what's on the other side. Uh, it's it, not a theory of just like mine, but uh, it's easier to control people when you ha when you convince them they're insignificant, they're a speck of dust in the universe. The Earth is round. No matter where you go, you're going to go in a circle. Why are you going? Don't go. It's going to be a circle. Why explore? They went up and they saw some shit. The people at the top know what the fuck we're on. They went up and they're like, oh no, we can't let anybody Have know this. Have they been beyond the ice, you think? Have I'm, they been beyond the ice? Probably. And they don't, they're like, let's not, we don't need to know that. The people don't need to know that. Well, but let, let's keep them on a ball. Let's keep Admiral them on a ball. What's that? Yeah. Admiral Ver Berg gave that interview back in like the 30s saying yeah. about how there was, the, uh, there was a landmass across the ice wall that was the size of the United States and that he wished that he was allowed to go explore it. Yeah, and he didn't. And who knows if he was if he was told to say that? So that, that's the debate. Was he told to say that? Like if maybe he knew the truth. But Admiral Byrd was. They they had a gigantic military exploration of Ant the Antarctic in the fifties, and that was the last one. Uh, Richard Byrd, Admiral. He was like the real life um, Indiana Jones. The military. Had, they had a, it was Operation High Jump or something, Operation something. They win, they came back, they never went back. They never went back. Who knows what this? Who knows? So, okay, Who so, knows what's over there? So I think that your motive can ring true, especially with other situations where they want to make us feel like... Don't let them know. Don't let them, they don't need to know. They want to beat us down, they want to make us feel like we're insignificant. I do think that that's I think true. they went up, they went up and they're like, we don't need to let anybody know this yet. You know, we, we might, there might, they might have looked up and there might have been a bunch of craters. There's bunch another planets. earth. There's another earth. Big there's plane another like one. This and we're on a plane stars. with a bunch of, a, so, so a bunch of earths. So this yeah. takes hundreds, if not thousands of people to continue this lie. All of the people that work for NASA, all, all the people. Masons. All of them are Freemasons. Yeah. Yeah. People in Russia, no, no. people in China, all of them. That takes them all to lie. You're talking about thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people. I'm not saying it can't happen. Yeah. I'm not you're, saying But that's the kind of shit people that don't believe in conspiracy theories say. You're saying the same thing, like, wait a minute, 9-11, now, oh, how can 9-11 be an inside job? You'd have to have a thousand people in the State Department, because there's no way. No, hey, that's the kind of shit they say. Yeah, it's the same thing, you're saying the same thing. But we're talking about two completely different things. Same thing. about two completely it's about control. No, no, It's about no. mass hypnosis. Here's, what, the same I'm, thing. here's what I'm trying to figure out, though. Because you, you believe in like space, right? I mean, you literally don't believe space exists. The stars don't exist. No, no, it's just no, no, a projection. No, no, no. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Here's one thing. Here's another thing here. I like this. I like this. Here's another. This is another crazy thing. Okay, 
Um, here's the sun, right? That's the sun. Which this is this is that's the sun. This is Venus, uh, Mercury, Venus, and the Earth, right? They're like this. Let's just say they're like this, right? So it takes a year. For, it's on a plane now, according to this. I'm, t I'm talking mainstream um, sources. Yeah, mainstream inf info. So it takes a year for this motherfucker to go around the sun. Six months here, and then a year, right? That's mainstream, right? That's mainstream. So here's Mercury, Mercury, same thing, boom. I don't know how long it takes, but it takes us a year, six months here, and then boom, here. So anytime the Earth is facing the sun, it's daytime. The backside is always nighttime, right? In some so places. if the sun's over here, daytime's over here. Nighttime, so, nighttime, it can never be as we're spinning. You could have 30 days. Yeah, Alaska, okay. Alaska, it's like a four, six, it's a six day. Okay, day. okay, okay, let me, let me get day. it, let me get a little deeper. Six hours. So, day. you got this six months, a year, it takes a year to go around. So it's spinning like this, right? It's spinning on, it's on an axis and it's spinning. So anytime it's spinning like that, still it's spinning, but this is, the sun's over here. There's no way it's going to be dark over here. You guys get that? That's yeah. science. That's actually science that I know. So it's spinning like this. But the government told me it was science, so I can't believe the government. Exactly. That's what I'm getting to. That's I'm getting. So it's spinning. So it's spinning, right? So the inside. So as it's spinning, this is daytime. This is nighttime, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. That makes sense. So the, so so when it's nighttime, you're looking at the outside of the universe. You're never looking at. It's nighttime here. You're not looking through the sun and what's over there. You're not looking at what's over there. You're looking at what's over here. Right? And then but it's spinning. It's we're still night. looking at what's over here. Over here. We're looking at over here. At night. We're looking at the stars over there. We're looking at the stars over here. We're looking at the stars over there. And you're saying because the, the North Star there. is still there. How so can we see the North Star every goddamn night? And everything's spinning around it. Explain that. No one can see Neil deGrasse to Tyson Kennedy. The sun's moving too. The sun's moving really fast too. It's like 500,000 miles an hour. Every fast. night should be a different set of stars. It shouldn't be. I see the little dipper every goddamn night. I see the little dipper every night. And in six months, we shouldn't see the little dipper. It, it changes. The it moves. Change. It no, moves they around. do move. They do. They do move. But but the way when you look at time lapse photography, you can see it on YouTube. It's, it's it's you see the North Star. Everything's every the North Star is right above the North Pole, and the North Star you always see. So then what is it? It has to be a projection. It's a bunch of lights. I don't know what it is. They're a bunch of lights. But you're, when, you're but you oh, agree. You're it is, it is a pattern that is traceable. So that means that something is creating. You know what? My good news is that someone created all this and we are special. We are special. We are the center of this whatever thing we are. Everything revolves around us. You look at the the you know the cosmic microwave background, you know what that is? They took one in I think 2006 and then they took one in 2013. It's a it's a snapshot of the universe. And this is all coming from mainstream science. Mainstream science, the cosmic microwave background. You know what they found out in 2006? Well, what took that? Well, you know what? Who knows? This is science. This is what the science people say. So it could all be bullshit. The science people took it in 2006, so they took a snapshot of the universe. And you know what they found out? That we are the center of the Earth, and every, all the stars are revolving around us. So they thought it was a mistake. So that was the big thing. But like, that's what no, they used to think. Too. No, no, no. They, they thought it was a mistake. It's got to be a mistake. They didn't. They fucked up. There's no way we could be the center. There's no way these stars are revolving around us. So in 2013, the European Space Agency took another cosmic microwave background. This mainstream astrology, mainstream astronomy. You know what they found out? The same thing. We're in the center of some shit, and all the stars are going around us. I mean, that's mainstream science saying that. Mainstream science is going, damn. We just took a snapshot of the universe, and all these, everything's revolving around us. Principle. That's what mainstream saying. Watch the documentary The Principle. Yeah. It's about the Copernican Principle. Mainstream. I'm not saying they're right, but they could be. I'm not saying that the cosmic microwave background is proving that we are the center of the universe. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying, what, what, it could be right, but for sure, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. For sure, all our science from space, just based on that, you guys don't even know what you're talking about. That co cosmic microwave background could be total bullshit. But that's coming from you, so you guys don't know shit. You guys are all just reading books and memorizing shit. When you actually look at telescopes and the stars, you see like the lights, like they're like, there's not that kind of a circle. There's no circle. It's like the lights and it's like a red light. 
Look, you can go on YouTube and look at what I've, these guys are I've actually are been very into telescopes in the past. It's actually really hard to find a star in a telescope. It's very hard because they're so far away. I'm talking about the Sometimes you can see a cosmos. I've used it. I've seen cosmos before. It's, a, it's, it's incredible to see a cosmos. I've seen planets. I've seen Venus. I've seen the way, depending on where the moon is, how the crescent in those planets differentiates. So, for somebody to have all of that programmed into a projection would be something extreme. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a projection. I don't know what it is. Who knows what it is? All I'm saying is modern day astronomers and astrophysicists don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're arguing. They don't even know. They're like, how do you, how do you, how do you explain the cosmic radio back, uh, the cosmic radiation background from two different space agencies? Mainstream space agencies. See, that means They're all like, oh, I don't know what that, that means. means. No, but see, but that means nothing to me because space is so big. Six years, five years, a hundred years, two hundred years in the time of space is probably like the blink of an no, eye. But the results, the results were, were that the, the lights, whatever they are, stars, whatever they are. They're revolving around us. Around. Go, go on Art. YouTube. Go on Art. the University of YouTube and look at the time elapsed photography of the North Star. You look at the North Star, everything's going around that, and that's above that's above the North Pole. The North Star's above the North Pole. That's why they call it the North Star. Everything's overall. Coincidentally, you could go on YouTube and watch time elapsed photography of the North Star and all the stars going around it, and it's above the North Pole. And it's every fucking night, and it, in six months, we should be seeing a whole different... What about those stars? When we're over here and we're looking at that, what about... When are we going to see those stars? We go over here, guess what? It's the same fucking stars from over here. Explain that science. Or we didn't move, and the sun moved. I've seen the time-lapse photography of Tom, and I, I don't know. I don't understand what you're saying. Because the way I see it, it makes perfect sense to me, because you're stationary, and... The Earth is always rotating on the northern axis, which the North Star is above. So yes, of course it's going to remain in place while you're spinning around it, while every other thing is appearing to rotate. So it makes okay, sense. Here's the that. sun again. Here's the sun. Mercury goes like this. Venus goes like this. On a plane. The fuck, it, it just it, coincidentally, the solar system's on a plane. That's what's funny. And then we're the Earth. This is mainstream astronomy. No, it spins oh like God. this, yeah, and it goes around. It takes six months to go over here. You can watch the shit on Nova. Yeah, I've watched a that. million of them. And then the outside is night. So we're looking. It's spinning. We're looking at over that, and when we're over here, we're looking at that side of the universe. And then over, it's like a 360 universe. It's not like one-sided. And over here, we're looking at that side of the universe, and it's spinning. Boom. But every night, it's the same shit. No, it's not. The it's not the same star, shit. The North Star is the same. Because we're rotating on the axis. That's why that's always the same. But everything else always changes depending on where you're around the sun. Yeah, uh, interesting. This is a thousand miles an hour, right? No. How fast are we going around the sun? Like 50,000 50, miles. 000, how fast is this moving? Uh, like it's also moving this way. Oh, we're all moving. This, we're all this, moving with it. This is the fastest moving piece, right? Well, we're all 000. moving with it. Yes. In theory, we're moving with the sun as it's so, rotating. The only, and we're rotating. But all the stars, they the move. The only thing you see Maybe is this are. rotation. You okay. only see this rotation. All you see is the Earth spin. You don't see this rotation or the movement of the sun. You just see a simple 360. It's but like the Earth is isn't moving. It's like the Earth isn't moving. Everything else is moving around. That's so the science. That, then that, if what you just said was true, that would explain what he just said. That would mean you would see the same thing every night, but you don't. You see the, you see the, the North, North Star. Star. No, you don't. No, you don't. There's yeah. certain times of the year where you can see Jupiter. Well, there's certain times of the year where you can't. There's certain those times are, well, those are wandering stars. Jupiter. You're talking about planets. Planets, planets are wandering stars. The they're not. They're not okay. in the constellation. Okay, but the stars Wait. are so far away, and they are. If you go to your gym, you have to believe in flat Earth. Hey, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Believe what you, you want. I don't do care. That's you want to be the defense attorney? You can be the defense, you be the defense attorney. You're sounding like a defense attorney right now. I, hey, a lot of people say I need. Hey, to all that all that science. Is if the star the doesn't fit, so you must think acquit. About that. Hey, but you know what? Though? You should really question it. You should really question it. At, at least, at least people have conversations. Yeah, you know? that's if, all. If that you, we're doing. If you try to have a conversation, that's why I was saying it was so. It was so good to talk to you because we disagree. But that was a conversation that people can be like, oh wow, both of them are talking. Both of them are clearly well researched. So. 
So for all the people out there that see me just destroy the oh, social still justice warriors, oh, we're still going. This guy, this guy can, this guy is good right here. Oh, hey, that's good hey I, I just don't trust shit Dude, that I, I can't see for myself. Right. You know, it's it's all oh, well, we should we should it should be open about, for like, investigation. Like, it's, it's a smart thing. To it's reopen a case, sure, reopen sure, a case, yeah, and reinvestigate yeah. something that you can't see for yourself. I'm not investigating if uh, Apache helicopters are real. We know they're real. Oh my God! There's there's a YouTube video, University of YouTube. There's a YouTube video of the head of NASA, like in Congress, trying to get like a bill passed to get more money, and he's like begging for his funding, and the guy's all, "Okay, where are you guys going out of fucking the moon or Mars?" Moon or Mars? And like, oh, well, we were, first we gotta get space station together. Wait a minute. And the guy, the, like, one guy knows this is bullshit. This other, this is other scamming our tax money. You can't steal a corporation's money because they'll kill you. Right. But you can't take tax money and no one from the masses. Yeah. yeah, it's all there's trillions and trillions of tax money. How, everyone is like, how do we come up with a bill? All right, we're gonna end this. I'm so, hey, listen, 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 listen. You're gonna be on the Believe whatever the fuck you want. I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to uh, investigate. If I'm an idiot for that, I apologize. I am an idiot. Get on my Instagram. Look at that shit. I'm a fucking idiot. Don't believe anything I'm saying. Add any Bravo 10. I'm ridiculous. I'm an idiot. I'm annoying. I apologize for ruining the Alex Jones, Joe Rogan podcast. I do you apologize. Ruined it, Eddie. You hated it. I in, apologize. In addition to being the most viewed, it was the most interrupted podcast of all time. I apologize. Thanks, Eddie Bravo. I apologize. <laughs> Intergalactic messages. All right. We're going to shut this down. Yeah. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> You're a big fan. Buzz big Aldrin. Fan. You kept saying, go to his Instagram. Go to his Instagram. Yeah. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's Rob doing Infowars.com. Um, Eddie Bravo will be on tomorrow on the Alex Jones Show, um, at least for one hour. He'll probably stretch it into two. Oh, I might have to change my flight. <laughs> Eddie might have to. Are you're you gonna have to watch. You're gonna have to watch the language the tomorrow because we are no. on radio tomorrow. No, no booze. No booze. No, yeah, no. But, and 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 tomorrow it is a family show. Yes. yes. No, <laughs> booze. no booze. No booze. All right, Rob doing signing no, off. Infowars.com. Watch the free stream tomorrow at infowars.com forward slash shows free. Please spread this video far and wide. Thanks for watching.